Hey folks, it's Marvin Cash, the host of the Articulate Fly, and we're back for another Central PA Fishing Report with George Costa of TCO Fly Shop. How you doing, George? I'm um, amazing as always, Marvin. How are you? As always, just trying to stay out of trouble. And, uh, you know, despite what Punxsutawney Phil saw, you actually are warming up a little bit in Central PA. A little bit, a little bit. We're getting a little toasty over here. Temps are starting to rise, which is nice. Doesn't mean it can't change next week. Uh, but this week we've had some nice warm weather, and we are starting to get some good bug activity. We've got plenty of midges around. A um, couple of reports of some olives popping here and there. I've had a couple guys say they're starting to see little black stoneflies, which is good. So we are we are turning a corner, I think. And as long as we don't get a big long drop in temperatures, we're starting to get some good hatches here. And um, fishing has been decent. Uh, water is still kind of cold, starting to warm. So guys have been doing pretty good on some nymphs. Guys have been doing well on some streamers. Fish were actually moving yesterday for a couple of our customers. So things are looking up. Things are looking up. Yeah. And so do you prefer to kind of nymph until you see the hatches or are you doing like a dry dropper? How do you like to skin that cat? Oh, uh, this this time of year, I'm not I'm not going to fish a dry until I see something actually legitimate and worthwhile to put a dry on. So, I would say stick with those nymphs until you actually see fish, you know, rising fairly frequently. Um, you know, if you're dry dry or die kind of guy, you can you know search around this time of year, and you're you're going to probably find a couple of dumb fish here and there that are going to rise. But um, I prefer to just you know wait till it's a little more consistent to you know search around with a dry fly for sure yeah it's like ghostbusters don't cross the streams right absolutely yes exactly exactly <laughs> and if someone asks if you're a god you say yes yeah there see lots of wisdom on the fishing report and uh, as we, <laughs> and as we mentioned last time we were going to ha- announce our drawing winner on this episode from all the folks mm-hmm. that yeah asked questions in 2022 uh we put the name in the hat which is called the google random number generator and it spat out a name but before i Announce the winner, George. You want to let them know what they're going to get? Sure. We get some TCO swag and a $50 gift certificate to the shop. Well, that's awesome. Well, Tyler Pierce, you're the lucky winner, and I will be in touch. Or if you beat me to it, reach out and talk to George in the shop, and he'll hook you up. Nice. Congrats, Tyler. Yeah, and you know, folks, we love questions on the Articulate Fly. You can email them to us. You can DM us on social media, whatever's easiest for you. And if we use your question, I will send you some Articulate Fly swag. We are drawing for something cool from the shop at the end of the year. And George, before I let you go and get back to inventory and sell that last cape that you just seem to not be able to move, you want to let folks know. No, somebody will buy it. Somebody will buy it. You want to let folks know uh, shop hours and location and all that kind of good stuff. Any special events? Absolutely. We are here Monday through Saturday, 9 to 6, Sundays 9 to 3, um, on the web at tcoflyfishing.com at 2030 East College Avenue here in State College. Uh, special things we got going on. I got a time class tonight that's almost full. If anybody's free tonight and wants to join, I got a couple of spots left for a, a Blue Winged Olive time class tonight. We've got some classes coming up at the end of February as well. Check out the website for that. And I hope to see you in the shop soon. Uh, Well, there you go. Well, listen, folks, you owe it to yourself to get out there and catch a few. Tight lines, everybody. Tight lines, George. Take it easy, Marv. 